the channel y'all in this video we're gonna be doing a little bit of engine bay cleaning here on my big boy dodge ram truck here guys y'all know the big boy long bed big boy dodge ram truck long bed long bed long bed all right that thing got a long bed boy eight feet bed okay so uh we're gonna clean this thing up here and uh i don't like a short bed truck you know i like long bed stuff Okay, y'all see them vacuum pipes and all that dirt and ground. I'm about to change the copper. I got a guy that uh, looking out for me a copperator. So I'm about to change. Y'all gonna see me change this thing. Because it just doesn't take the gas the way I want it. I won't be able to smoke the tires when I take off. And it ain't doing it. It's just taking off, but it ain't smoking the tires. <laughs> All right, guys, so let's hit these vacuum pipes down here. See what we can, how good can we clean them. That's super clean, man. Them vacuum pipes are dirty. Look at here. That's kind of saturated down. All up in here. I mean, that James 50, man. You can see how it's super clean. It's cooking the dirt up. Look at here. Got this little solid, sturdy gristle brush. Trying to fix this thing up. I'm going to paint all under here, too. But before you paint it, you definitely got to clean it. Might just put a new radiator. Eventually. Looks old. Or y'all say it worked good, but well, it still looks old. Ben is more of a project truck now. I'm just trying to replace everything. It's super clean, some good stuff for cleaning uh, engine bays and stuff. Look at there. It's coming back to the original color. I'll clean this thing up pretty good. That's the original color blue right here. That's the way it was when I first got it. There's a little offset blue. There's a louder blue than that. So originally it was blue. Probably why it looks so good blue. Because it originally was blue. I actually need to take this grill down and sand it down and paint it. It looks better already. Look at that. Stop playing with him. Stop playing with him. Yes, yeah, sir. Stop playing with him. Alright. Now, so what we're going to do, we're going to put the rag down here. Hit those vacuum pipes down here. I got to pull all these off when I, turn, when I change that carburetor. Super clean, scrum stuff. Take the brush, kind of hit these vacuum hoses. Got to clean up some of that crud that's on them. That thing is dirty. Been like this ever since we were new. You know? it's all that dirt that's on these vacuum pipes. One of them is off. Some of them coming loose right here. This is already off. One already off, though. Came from somewhere. Figure that out when it's dirty. Look at all that dirt and grime here. It came from down yonder. I see where it came from. Look at all that dirt. Let's hit that again. Need to clean those pipes up. Don't even want to test this joint like this. Want all this stuff clean down there. Hey, super clean, get it right. 
all that crap down there. It's supposed to be silver. Look all that crap. I need my gloves touching this stuff. Look all that dirt and grind coming from all the old vacuum pipes and stuff. I get it clean though. Yes, sir. That's what you want. These pipes where you can lease. Get them cleaned up enough where you can see what's going on. Before I paint it down here. It's a nice little project. I'm going to paint all this blue. Sand all this off. Probably tomorrow evening. Yeah, I'm going to clean all this out right here. I'm going to paint all this blue. All the the firewall and everything. I'm going to paint it blue. I heard somebody told me you can go with a Weber carb. The probably better I'll go with a Weber carburetor. I don't know. I'm going to get some kind of carburetor to go up here. <laughs> I don't know. Weber, original equipment or what. I'm going to get some kind to go up here now. I had a couple people tell me go with Weber. It still run pretty smooth and everything. It just got a hesitation on it. It takes the gas hesitation. But it still runs pretty smooth. But I wanted to take the gas exactly like it's supposed to. When I get down on it, I wanted to get up and go. You know, because this truck was pretty swift for what it is. This thing will get up and go. I can stump this thing, man. Smoke the tires, man. Smoke the tires about. I can smoke the tire half a mile no about with it. That thing smoked the tire about 20 feet, 20 or 30 feet. It used to. When the uh, copperator was good, was better, I would say. But uh, now the copperator is not, not the way it should be, even though it ran pretty decent. But when I get all the way down on it, I got some hesitation there. I know the acceleration pump in it is weak. So I want it right. Put it like this. When you hit the road and you get out there, you want your stuff right. I don't want to hesitate on nothing. I want it better. I, when I stomp this mud, I want to get up and, and go. You know, that's where it's supposed to be anyway. All right, y'all. Y'all see I'm cleaning it up real good down here. It's super clean. Got them vacuum pipes and stuff clean now. Ben, I'm getting it right. I may go ahead on and uh, I may go ahead on and uh, put a new alternator on it sooner or later. This pipe it look like it's supposed to be clear. What's up here? What's a brown pipe? Some kind of pipe. Whatever, I gotta clean all this mess up. Dude. Yes, sir. Y'all see it? You want all this stuff clean? This piece look like it broke from somewhere. I'm assuming it broke from here. Look at here. I can melt it all. Yep. That piece broke, had a screw in it or something right here. That piece looks to me like it was right here. Like that or something. Like that where it's supposed to go. Like right here. Somewhere like that. Been down there for years, but uh You want it right, you want it right, you know. It's a lot of gunk and stuff still there. Super clean mood, a lot of it, as y'all can see. So this stuff is really good for engine bay cleaning, y'all see here. Yeah. Want it clean around your vacuum pipe, look how clean it came with just a super clean. See here? Just one application that's super clean, getting it right. Those pipes are filthy. I mean, filthy. When I say filthy, dirty, filthy, man. Look at there. When you're working with it, you know, you want to get all that stuff clean. Change that carbon, huh? 
All right, I don't want to hold y'all too long. Just doing some engine bay cleaning here on Big Boy Dodge Ram using the Super Clean. Y'all hit that subscribe button. Till next time, video is too long. I'm out of here, man. Peace.